How can you make your creations and content go viral? Use cats. Be hilarious. Memes. Watch this video because we'll likely find out. Hi, I'm Tommy Daika, each week bringing to you actionable lessons to apply in your music career today, inspired by popular books. This week, we'll examine Contagious by Jonah Berger. This video is ideal for every musician who wants to craft creations that get shared with loads of people, bringing value to the world and money in your pocket. In short, the book Contagious helps us understand the six reasons why content, products or ideas spread like wildfire. Don't forget to share this video with your musician friends. Now we'll skip the 210 pages of the book which I've read and we'll explore seven actionable lessons to apply in your music career today inspired by Contagious. More links and resources at the end of the video. Actionable lesson one, always think word of mouth. Virality isn't born, it's made. Some people claim that certain products or ideas become popular because they're just plain better, cheaper or better advertised. The author of Contagious has spent years researching and found that regardless how plain or boring a product or idea might seem, there are ways to make it contagious. My first practical piece of advice is always think social influence and word of mouth. People love to share stories, news or information with those around them. No wonder why word of mouth is the primary factor behind 20 to 50% of all purchasing decisions. So next time you create something, anything, think. Would people share that? Who would share that? And why? Actionable lesson two, make people look good. We share things that make us look good. Most people would rather look smart than dumb rich than poor and cool than boring. Makes sense, right? Just like the clothes we wear or the cars we drive, what we talk about also influences how others see us. And guess what? We care deeply about how others see us. It's called social currency. We use money to buy products and services and we use social currency to achieve positive impressions amongst our families, friends, colleagues and society at large. In other words, for your creations to be shared, help other people achieve these positive impressions. First, find your inner remarkability. Remarkable things are defined as unusual, extraordinary or worthy of your notice or attention. Something can be remarkable because it's novel, surprising, extreme or just simply breaks the pattern that people have come to expect like a punchline in a joke. Find the inner remarkability of your creations and ideas by thinking about what makes them stand out. For example, has your music been recorded only with acoustic instruments but sounds electronic? That's remarkable and worth sharing. Are you performing all the instruments in your album? That's cool too, bro. Two, make people feel like insiders. Scarce things are less available because of high demand, limited production, or restrictions of the time or place you can acquire them. For example, limiting your vinyl or cassette production will make the item more valuable because people will feel special for owning one of the limited copies. Exclusive things are accessible only to people who meet particular criteria, know certain information or are connected with people who do. For example, an invitation-only membership site or a Patreon page with content only for the supporters is a great way to create exclusivity. Does talking about your creations or content make people look good? Now ask yourself, does talking about your creations or content make people look good? Can you find their inner remarkability or make people feel like insiders? Actionable lesson three, cue people to think of you often. People talk about Cheerios more often than Disney World. What? Triggers are stimuli that prompt people to think about related things. Peanut butter, jelly. Da 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 da. I'm loving it. The Great Recession. Gatsby, ah! You get the idea. Sights, smells, and sounds can trigger related thoughts and ideas, making them more top of mind. And the more often people think about you, the more often they'll talk about you. So how do you remind people to talk about your creations and content? One, create things that are frequently triggered by the environment. Take hot dogs. Summertime, barbecue, baseball games, or even wiener dogs make up their natural habitat. Two, create new triggers by linking your creations and content with existing strong cues in the environment. KitKat advertised itself heavily and linked its product with coffee. 
Coca-Cola did the same thing with Christmas and Santa Claus. Do you create something that doesn't help people think of it often? Consider changing what you create to match the habitat's cues, change the habitat itself, which is quite difficult, or target a different audience or geographical location. Now ask yourself, what is the natural habitat of your creations and content? What cues make people think about what you create? How can you make your creations come to mind more often? Actionable lesson four, leverage high arousal emotions. Now, this is important. Do you craft things that make people feel something? Blending an iPhone is surprising. Somebody littering the environment is infuriating. A dog that sings metal is hilarious. Naturally contagious things evoke some sort of emotion and emotional things get shared because when we care, we share. However, not all emotions do the work. Some emotions like surprise, amusement, anger, or anxiety are high arousal. They activate people and make us ready for action. Our hearts beat faster and blood pressure rises. Other emotions like sadness or contentment have the opposite effect. They stifle action. When trying to use emotions to drive sharing, remember to use high arousal emotions that drive people to action. Excite people and inspire them by showing them how they can make a difference. Make people mad, not sad. Next time you create a music video or any type of content, remember, when aroused, we do things. Share this video. Now ask yourself, does talking about your creations or content generate emotion in the first place? How can you kindle the fire with high arousal emotion? Actionable lesson five, turn your creations into moving ads. Do you know the phrase monkey see, monkey do? Monkey see, monkey do? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you did it. It tells us that it's hard to copy something you can't see. Making things observable makes them easier to imitate, which makes them more likely to become popular. You see two identical restaurants next to each other. One of them is full of people. The other one has two people in it. Where do you go? See? Psychologists call this social proof. Now imagine the full restaurant has the window blinds down and you can't see what's inside. Where would you go? It's hard to tell. Observability drives action and purchase. So do you want your creations to catch on? Make sure people don't just think they're great, but they also do something publicly about it. Create a choreography that people can follow, or a challenge they can take with their friends, or a meme that people can repeat. I know. What a hack. Or even positive public comments will do. Go ahead, write a comment. In short, make things public and get shared more. Essentially, design things that advertise themselves. Remember that iPhone had that sent from my iPhone default signature? It's a prime example of a product that advertises itself. Logos, shapes, branding, or a distinguished musical style also help creations advertise themselves. Especially when you have limited resources, creating things that advertise themselves is like advertising without an advertising budget. Now ask yourself, do your creations advertise themselves? Can people see when others are consuming them? If not, how can you make the private behavior public? Actionable lesson six, provide incredible practical value. Sharing something useful with others is a quick and easy way to help them out. If you can show how your services or products will save time or improve health or save money, people will spread the word. But given how drowned people are in information nowadays, we need to make our message stand out a bit more. Here's three ways to do that. One, make it look like a great deal. People evaluate deals in comparison to a reference point. This grill is priced $250 down from $350. Seems like a great deal. Now, the same grill here is discounted from $255 to $240. Not a great deal. But the second grill is cheaper than the first one. You pay less. So, if you cost your services $100 down from $180, it will still look like a better deal than costing them $80 down from 
although people would pay less in the second scenario. Use these magical powers with caution. Two, highlight incredible value. As we've said, restricting availability through scarcity or exclusivity makes things seem more valuable. Next time you release something, make it available for a limited time or in limited copies. Three, package your content correctly. Make your content easy to understand and pass on. For example, don't send a four-page email newsletter with 25 links on 15 different topics. Instead, send out a short one-page note with a key header on top and three to four main links below it. It's easy to see what the main point is and if they want to find out more, they can simply click on the links. Now ask yourself, does talking about your content or creations help people help others? How can you make it look like a great deal, highlighting incredible value and packaging your content correctly? Actionable lesson seven, package everything into a story. People don't just share information, they tell stories. And stories are Trojan horses for information. Just like the epic tale of the Trojan horse, stories are vessels that carry things such as information, morals, and lessons. Stories save time and hustle and give people the information they need in a way that it's easy to remember. Build your own Trojan horse embedding your creations and content in stories that people want to tell. But make sure you connect your high arousal narrative back to you. Otherwise, you'll just go viral, but nobody will know that the story is about you. So, make your creation so integral to the narrative that people can't tell the story without it. Baseline is, whatever you're creating, turn it into a story. What is your Trojan horse story? Are your creations embedded in a narrative that people want to share? Is the story not only viral, but also valuable? In conclusion, seven actionable lessons inspired by Contagious. One, always think word of mouth. Two, social currency. People share things that make them look good, smart and cool with their family, friends and society. Three, triggers. People talk about whatever is on top of mind. Four, emotions. Evoke high arousing emotions to get things highly shared. Five, public. Make things more observable to make them easier to imitate. Six, practical value. Sharing something useful is a quick and easy way to help others out. Seven, stories. Embed your creations and ideas in stories that people want to tell. For a free summary of the book, check out the link in the description. Over there, you also find more resources such as the link to the book itself, my favorite books, and make sure you share this video with three of your musician friends. I'm Tommy Darka and you are a rock star. See you next week.